give the call to the member for Paterson. Thanks, Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Industry. What's the Albanese Labor government doing to revitalise Australian manufacturing? Why is this important for manufacturing jobs? And what are the threats to creating these new jobs? Order. I give the call to the Minister for Industry and Science. Thanks, Speaker. And I want to thank the member for Paterson. This is a member that gets it. Member for Paterson understands manufacturing matters, and there are thousands of people employed across the Hunter who owe their livelihoods to manufacturing, and some really great firms like Energy Renaissance in the member's electorate who are looking to have Aussie-made batteries right here available for us. Great work. Revitalising manufacturing is a critical priority for the country. Some of the world's biggest economies owe their success to having very healthy manufacturing within them, and they also get these countries, they need to become more self-sufficient. And the Albanese government gets this too. It's uh, one of the reasons why we don't want our country to be reliant on concentrated or broken supply chains. And dealing with this is a big part of our plan to take up the fight on inflation and also put downward pressure on interest rates. It's why we're, for example, calling on the parliament to join with us in setting up the $15 billion National Reconstruction Fund, yeah. one of the greatest investments in national Order. manufacturing capability and living memory. And the growth capital that will be unlocked by the National Reconstruction Fund, crucial, good for the economy, good for industry and unbelievably good for jobs. Nearly 900,000 Australians employed as a result of manufacturing in over 90,000 firms, one third of which are employed outside of our capital cities. Our national ambition should be to see that number grow in our outer suburbs, in our regions, in remote Australia. Our other ambition to, is, should be to keep Australian companies onshore. Good ideas, jobs here. Made in Australia, made overseas. That's the big thing. That's the big difference. And I've met Australian businesses here and overseas who want a future made in Australia. Those firms uh, some of which have moved overseas will sometimes cite how hard it is to get growth capital they need the the on home soil, which is precisely the issue the National Reconstruction Fund wants to deal with. This government knows how much Australians can't stand it when Australian firms have to leave our shores for a lack of support. Most Australians get it, except, it seems, the Liberal and National parties. The same parties who pushed auto manufacturing offshore presided over a Order. decade of neglect, voted against Correct, energy Connor. price relief to help manufacturers, and now they want to oppose manufacturers getting access to growth by the NRF. No to manufacturing, no to jobs, no to growth, no to Australian know-how. And when it comes to supporting the NRF and Australian manufacturing, those opposites say no way, no how. I would just ask manufacturers from our out of suburbs and regions who might be represented by a Liberal and National Party MP, just to ask those MPs why they only ever support manufacturing when there's a TV camera around. Yeah.